Andrew Ladinowski and his son Jeremy have been walking the halls of the state capitol on a mission, passed legislation allowing Jeremy and other high schoolers to take computer coding classes instead of a foreign language. It's very important for me and my son because my son has speech apraxia, so he has a difficulty um, uh, pronouncing words and pronunciations as well as uh, a learning disability with respect to speech and language. Jeremy had two years of Spanish in elementary school. It would take me forever to pass in our foreign language, pass it foreign language. And Andrew is worried that if his son is forced to take a foreign language, it will detract from his otherwise good grades. He won't have the time and energy to excel in the courses that he does. We like to maintain those A's and B's in the science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and we worry that we spend all the time and resources trying to learn this foreign language that those grades will slip and the opportunity of going to college would be diminished. Some educators are pushing back. Opponents argue that while computer coding may be useful, it doesn't use the same brain activity as learning a foreign language. There's a lot of critical thinking that goes into it, a tremendous amount too. It's, it is a global language. What would you envision doing? Any IT person, like something to do with computer or science. And while they push computer coding, Jeremy is also getting an education in lawmaking 101. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.